Hi guys, this is Nart Chronicles and I'm back with another reading. This is for anyone who's dealing with a narcissist or has dealt with a narcissist in the past. This is for all zodiac signs and it's a general message for the collective. So take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you'd like a personal reading, please check out my website. It's crystallizedtarot.co.uk. So I'm just cleansing the energy with some frankincense. I just heard a rat. I'm hearing dirty rat. Diabolical, dysfunctional, disobedient, ridiculous. Okay, so I'd like to ask my guides for messages for all signs for Narc Chronicles, please. Disillusion, disillusionment, illusions, delusions, disgrace, you in diamond. I feel like that's your energy. You're a diamond, diamond in the rough. Targeted. Gang stalked. Keep hearing dysfunction, dysfunctional. You're dealing with someone who's very dysfunctional, could possibly come from a dysfunctional family, or you might have come from a dysfunctional family, I'm hearing that too. Repeat patterns. So, you could have been targeted by narcissists for most of your life. This could have stemmed from your root. So this is family, that's what I'm hearing. Now it's in your, you know, your adult life too. Pray, prayed upon. So someone prayed upon you, you was targeted by a narcissist, that's what I'm hearing. I feel like this is someone you're in a relationship with. Yeah, you was targeted because you have very high standards. You're someone, you know, you've probably been targeted most of your life. So you're someone who tries to be perfect in case anyone, you know, notices that you've been targeted. But I do feel like you have like a vulnerable side where, you know, narcissists kind of draw to you. So you attract them, that's what I'm picking up here. You could be someone of a very high, you know, high position in life, because I'm seeing a red carpet here. I'm seeing a female with a dress on, but you could be a male in your feminine energy. But at the same time, you've been surrounded by a lot of wolves most of your life. You attract narcissists, that's what I'm hearing. And it's because of your status as well. You're someone who was born a star. So you was generally hated on from birth, that's what I'm hearing. And you're still hated on now. So you could have a lot of haters, a lot of people who, you know, 
then try and take from your energy. So these are energy vampires, energy drainers. You definitely, you know, together with one. So this is your partner too, that's what I'm hearing. You're someone who they seeked out, someone who was ideal for what they was about to do. Cause destruction, I'm hearing, and I'm hearing destroy you. And I see a light at the top of these stairs. So I feel like you're heading towards the light. You become enlightened about, you know, the narcissist in your life. So you might be seeking advice, self-help. You might be trying to, you know, to get away from this person. So I do see this flight of stairs leading up to the light. You might have started to make, you know, preparations to get away from this person. Or that's what you're thinking about doing. That's what I'm hearing. But you're someone who's very high honoured. You've climbed to the top in your profession, in your career. I'm hearing actress, actor. So take it how it resonates. But you're definitely, you know, you're being pressured a lot here. And it stems from your family. Now you're being pressured a lot by the person that you love to. Got an energy of a female who's attracted to older men. So you might be with an older man, you might be married, you might have a family together, or you might just have been together for a long time. That's what I'm hearing. And you've started to realize that this person is a narcissist. There's someone who's draining the life out of you. I'm hearing draining the fuck out of you. So this could be sex too, or you might just feel, you know, completely drained all the time when dealing with this person. You might drink to suppress your emotions because it, you find it hard to deal with these family members. So you could be a scapegoat in your family. You're the black sheep. You're the one who was pushed out. And it's because you have such a high honour. You was born with a high honour. And people was generally jealous of you. That's what I'm hearing. This is family and friends. This could be a father figure too. That's what I'm seeing here. Yeah, I feel like you went through hell being drained by these people you could have felt really sick a lot and you could have you know been in physical pain too i feel like you just started to get back out there again into your job and into your you know your acting career you have a lot of abilities that's what i'm hearing you're very creative you're a great actor or actress and you've came back you've started to you know come back into that profession again but you've noticed there's a lot of narcissists around you again in your work too you attract them a lot that's what i'm seeing and it's because of your light that's what i'm picking up here so you might be looking for ways to kind of rid yourself from this energy too so that you don't attract these people anymore that's what i'm getting here so you're starting to do the shadow work you're starting to look at you know why you attract these people you're starting to look at your flaws but so do the, these people they're always picking at you always you know looking for mistakes that's what i'm seeing here and they're always criticizing you contradicting whatever you say so you could be with someone who's not supportive of your career someone who like i'm just hearing not my circus not my monkeys so you could feel like this person like audition for a circus act how they're treating you or you audition for this circus act but you might have picked up those you know those words along your studies of narcissism 
you might have picked up those words, not my circus, not my monkeys, to help yourself. So you might meditate saying this, I'm hearing that, or you might just think this in your mind to try and block them out. That's what I'm hearing here too. I feel like you have spirit animals that are trying to guide you. You have a unicorn in your energy and you've had past lives with this unicorn and that's why you're so successful because you have a magic aura, you have a magical energy. You attract, you know, your highest good but you also attract these, you know, these energy vampires who feel like it's time to play with you who get a kick out of your downfall, who, you know, emphasise your flaws so that you crumble and then they laugh. I'm hearing sniggering, like they feel like it's funny to see you, you know, sad or to see you make a mistake so that they can feel better about themselves. Yes, yeah, so whatever you're doing now, you're constantly having to practice. So you could be practicing, you know, words, I'm hearing lines, I'm hearing music too, singing, playing music, or, you know, whatever it is that you're into, I'm hearing theatrical. So you could be in the theatre at the moment and, you know, every day you practice your lines, you practice your performance so that you're, you know, you're on point when it comes to you know, your work life, your career. And I feel like someone's secretly jealous because I see like a black cat here watching you, you know, conspiring and planning on how to bring you down. They could criticize your performance or, you know, always send kind of, I'm seeing thunder here. So, you know, bad vibes towards you to make you feel like you're not good enough at what you're doing but I feel like you are you're some sort of royalty because you have a high honor from birth so you could have past lives you know where you've been royalty you that's your bloodline and you're supposed to be you know like on a pedestal because that is your bloodline, that's your heritage, that's your inheritance. So you could live like in the countryside, you could live, you know, somewhere what's quite secluded. So you're just stuck with this partner all the time who's always watching and criticizing your every move. They might interrupt you a lot when you are practicing you know, your lines or your performance. They might, you know, just keep, you know, doing things to throw you off what you're learning or cause a lot of distractions when you're trying to, you know, consistently train for your, you know, this could be auditions I keep hearing. This person, you know, they throw you off so that you end up quite confused and in your mind so you might cry a lot i'm seeing a lot of tears here because you never feel like you know the person you're with supporting you or even cheering or clapping for you they're always looking down their nose at you kind of energy and you know you're really good at what you do and that's why they try and bring you down off that pedestal they don't believe, you know, you should be up there. That's what I'm hearing. So they're quite, you know, a secret kind of hater. Okay, so your free will's in reverse. And I feel like it's because you haven't got your family. You've moved away. Or like I said, your family are narcissists too. So you don't have anyone to turn to. You don't have, you know, much independence because... You're, you know, you're isolated in this countryside area where you don't have many people around you, or you might be, you know, such a successful actor that you have to live, you know, in the hills, like somewhere far away from, you know, like normal kind of city life. 
think you're quite secluded in an area where, you know, you haven't got that, you know, that freedom to be able to, you know, run away from this person right now. That's what I'm seeing. So you kind of feel stuck and maybe this person overpowers your independence and tries to make you, you know, beneath them, I'm hearing. person blocks you from being the free spirit that you are yeah so you might feel like you're quite obsessed with this person it's all about them and if you don't you know make it about them they kind of you know they deprive you of things so they might take stuff away I'm hearing hide things from you or they might move stuff that you put down so this could be your you know your lines for your acting career they might hide them and act like they don't know where they are just to I'm hearing create a tizzy and I've got an energy of like someone who feels small every time you achieve something so they try and put a dampener or you know throw a spanner in your work so that you get worked up and stressed out a lot so you know you might you know suppress your emotions by drinking and stuff like that because you just don't understand you know where your work has gone or someone moved your stuff out the way on purpose and acted like they don't know where it is so you know you're constantly in fight or flight mode with this person Yeah, I feel like this person always makes you think like something's wrong with you because you misplaced your work or, you know, you didn't have enough time to practice and it was because they was interrupting you on purpose so that you didn't improve and you didn't, you know, learn you, you work like you're supposed to learn it that's what I'm seeing here they always throw a spanner in your way so you know you have to struggle so you they make you feel like it's you like there's something wrong with you when it's actually them who's doing this stuff to you to throw you off your path to you know to slow you down kind of energy but you you know you keep going wanting to improve I've got an energy of you know you pulling your hair out because this person is constantly you know doing things to challenge you causing challenges on purpose causing you to struggle and you start to question what is wrong with you So I've got compassion in reverse, I've got burnt by the sun in reverse, and rebellion in reverse. Yes, yeah, so you're an empath and they're, they're not, they're an energy vampire, and that's why they preyed on you, that's why they seeked you out, they targeted somebody like you so that you can carry their pain, that's what I'm hearing. They knew that you would always be sympathetic and kind to them. You know, and they hate those qualities in you because they don't, you know, have those kind of qualities. They don't have compassion. They don't love. They just, you know, they're just very negative, low vibrational. I'm hearing hurtful. You have a lot of ambition, which they're jealous of. So they try and, you know, block your your route, your your way, because they're not ambitious, they might not have any talents like you do, I see someone here with a lot of talents, you're someone who can not only act, you can sing, you can dance, you can play, you know, a guitar, you, you're just multi-talented and this person isn't, 
they have zero talent, zero ambition, you know, you're just an extension of their self, so whatever, you know, they say, you've got to kind of do, or whatever mood they're in, they inflict that mood onto you to block your ambitions, so that you just feel completely drained all the time, and at the same time, you know, you're really trying to put your creative energy into your work. They're there all the time beside you, trying to intervene or trying to, you know, just throw you off by just being in your presence. That's what I'm, I see here. You're someone you might go into another room to practice and they'll keep entering that room just to annoy you or throw you off whatever you was trying to do because they want to be better than you. That's how I'm getting it here. And rebellion in reverse, you might have been a rebel, but they, you know, they turn that shit upside down. They blocked you from rebelling. They didn't want you to, you know, to, 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 to prosper, they didn't want you to shine, they didn't want you to be, you know, someone who you wanted to be, they wanted to stop and block you, that was their sole purpose of being in your life, I feel like they get some sort of power trip every time they upset you, and it's because you're special, you're beautiful, you know, they don't want someone to suddenly, you know, spot you and, you know, you to prosper in life and you to be, I'm hearing on TV, I'm hearing on Netflix. They don't want someone to, you know, to put you on in your career. They, they just try to dim your light so that, you know, no one notices you. That's what I'm seeing here. And I feel like for the last 10 years, nothing has changed. This person just getting worse and worse. You know, there's always some sort of bullshit that's happening again. Like, it's just constant. That's what I'm seeing here. You know, they don't want you to be your authentic self. They know you're real, but they don't like it. Or maybe it's that they just, you know, they pick at how you look so that you just don't really make much effort in that area so that you look, you know, you just look down all the time or you, you know, you don't hold your head up high like you used to in your authentic energy. You kind of dim yourself down so that they can be, you know, in the spotlight or they can be king kind of energy it's so like really sad that you have to dim your light to be around someone who's supposed to love you when they're supposed to you know brighten that light for you brighten your day make you happy and you know try and you know encourage you or tell you that you've done well at your job or you know good at what you do yeah you feel like you've sacrificed everything to be with this person you could have moved far away from any everything and everyone just to be with them or maybe they moved with you and you feel like you've sacrificed everything to be with them you know maybe they've you know took you away from any support systems that you did have in the past so now you've only got them and you know they love that that's what i'm seeing because it's like they like to kill you inside that's what i'm seeing it's not only damaging your outer look, your, you know, your outer world, it's damaging your soul being with this person. And, you know, I feel like saying it's time to, you know, let go of them because they're actually killing your spirit as well as, you know, your life. Yeah, no one knows about this person. You haven't told a soul because, you know, you're not around people, like I said. But at the same time, you've probably let go of most of the people that was narcissists in your life or, 
you know, people who supported you are not around you, so you can't tell them, you know, you have no evidence, no one's ever saw them do this to you, so, you know, you've never spoke out on here and you failed to speak out. Maybe you don't want people to feel like you've failed at your relationship as well as, you know, your family or your career. Yeah, I feel like this person's, you know, they don't like the fact that you're religious or maybe you're just someone who follows the rules. You don't break you know, like the Ten Commandments or you don't break your religious beliefs. So you kind of stick with this person. So you could be married to them and you feel like, you know, a divorce would disgrace you or your family. So you could be, I'm hearing Hindu, I'm hearing Punjabi. I'm also hearing you could be like Christian. And your beliefs are that, you know, divorce is a no-no kind of energy. Like I said, you don't want people to feel you failed again. So you kind of, you know, you stick with the Ten Commandments and, you know, you, you never fall off that kind of faith. That's what I'm hearing. So you just keep holding the faith that, you know, you're going to change this person or they're going to improve one day. That's what I'm seeing here. Yeah, you've not really thought about leaving them and it's because of your religious beliefs. That's what I'm seeing. You know that you have to stay with this person regardless of you know, whatever they do to you because of your religion, that's what I'm hearing. And you'd feel like you dishonoured everyone, including your family, your friends, like, you feel like you, you know, you disgrace yourself if you left them, but you feel like, you know, this person's like an adult child that you're looking after. This person breaks all the rules of the Ten Commandments. I'm hearing cheating, lying, disgracing. I'm hearing sexual kind of thoughts here, like they're always looking at, this could be pornography this person's into, or, you know, they're constantly watching women, you know, in tight dresses with tattoos and different things like that, or maybe they have tattoos and different things, and, you know, the most you've ever done is probably dyed your hair, but, you know, this person complains about everything you kind of do.